Hello folks, I'm Ab Fielder and welcome to this tutorial on updating the Wondering Trades data pack from Exuma Void for 1.16. If you're a fan of Hermitcraft like I am, you've probably seen this data pack. A Wondering Trader comes along and this adds some new trades so you can buy player heads from it and little mini blocks from it. On 1.16 it doesn't work, it needs changing, Mojang have changed some ID information. And the other thing with this data pack is if you download it, add it to your server, it will have the Hermitcraft heads, not your player heads. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to update the file just to work with 116. So it will still give you the Hermitcraft heads, but it will work, okay? So when you download the file, you'll get a zip file which you can extract and ignore the Minicraft heads because that's for my server and I'm going to show you that later. But you'll get this Wondering Trades version 1.1.0. And in there you get a couple of files, well one file, one folder. Uh, we don't need to worry about that, we want to go into data. Then we've got four folders here, we can kind of safely ignore those, we're not going to do anything in those for now. We're going to go into this WT folder and into functions. Now in this folder there are three files to be aware of. It's the add underscore trade MC function, the 76 kilobyte one there the provide block trades and provide hermit trades. Okay, they're, they're the three key files that you need to update to get this working with your server. Now, to get it working with 116 and using the hermitcraft heads, the only file you need to worry about is this add underscore trade MC function. And I have it open here, and let's make sure this is the 115 version. No, nope, that's the 116 version I've updated. Here we go. This is it. So we can see we have Python, Exuma, and the rest of the Hermitcrafts in there. Now I have actually already updated one line in this. So this is how it looks in 115. So you have the display name, and this doesn't have to match the player name, but in most cases you're probably gonna want it to match the player name, okay? So in my instance, I would put uh, text ab fielder. So you'd keep the, it's, it's not a dollar, but for not knowing what that symbol is, R dollar E and then add fielder, okay? So let's do a new line just to, to well, actually, no, let's let's just do update this, the school owner ID, okay? We have the school owner ID. Now, I thought this matched the UUID of the player. It does not. This just needs to be a unique ID. And in 116, Mojang changed it from a, a GUID that you'll see in many programming languages. And they are using this array of four integer values. Now, two ways you can do this. You can take a copy of this GUID, okay? And I'm, we're gonna use someone else's website here. I haven't done this myself. So this Minecraft UUID converter sports 1.16. So we can paste that in there and that will give us the exact copy. Now we don't necessarily need to do that, but if we click on the data button, that will copy the value into our clipboard. We can also just generate a brand new value. Really doesn't matter which one you do. Once you've copied it, by clicking that data button, we need to get rid of the quotes, okay, like that. So you'll have ID, colon, and then just paste in the info. And that is it. Do that for all the items. Now I'm gonna save you some time. Doing the heads is pretty simple, okay? That's fine. I'm gonna upload my finished file, which is set for the Minicraft server, where I, because there's like 130 lines in here, and you have to update a lot of them. Okay, or you can do it yourself manually if you want. It'll take about half an hour. Just be aware of typos, if you miss a colon, it will break the file. Also try and avoid doing what I did, which is I accidentally copied a couple of these. I had duplicates of these. Not the end of the world, but the data pack won't work, okay? That's it, that's all you gotta do with 116 is update that ID value for all of them. Like I say, I'm gonna provide the file with you that we use on the Minicraft server, so you haven't gotta do all that, okay? It's gonna save you tons of time, trust me. But that's not what most people are gonna to wanna to do okay you, why would you want the hermit craft heads maybe you're a big fan i don't know i quite like them but i don't want their heads on my server okay i want the players heads on of the server that i play on so how do i do that and this gets a little bit more complicated there are shortcuts but the website that i use for a shortcut is down okay so what i'm going to do is just do a step-by-step -step line of how i update this file and then the other two files that i talked about that you may need to update as well 
So first off, we're only going to do the player heads. We are going to leave absolutely everything else the same. So all these where they're just the mini blocks, we're leaving them. We're not touching them. Okay, you can take them out and I'll, I can kind of show you that. But I think from this video, you will understand, hopefully, how to do that if you want to do it. So I'm going to show you how we create a new line. Okay, so there'll be some things I need to tell you about. Okay, so we have literally just duplicated that line. So we've got some problems already here that we want to fix up. Right, now, if I was going to go through this line by line, I apologize, my door slammed and I'm not re-recording this. <laughs> it's pre pretty windy here today. Okay, these need update in. So you are going to have to go through. If you put a new line in, that would be three, four, five, six, seven, all the way down to the bottom, okay, which is like 128. It takes a while. Same if you take it out, okay? If you don't do that, you're going to break the random trade generator part of the portion so you do need to do that it's really important so I'm gonna call that three for now I'm not gonna update all those others but assume that I would go down and do that all the way down okay all right then we're gonna head over to the right and where we've got Python here so like I say this is the name so delete back up leave that little bit in there and then add in the name add field it in this instance okay skull ID now I generally use the UUID of the player and just convert it. Don't have to do that. It does not need to match. Just generate a random, hit that data button. Okay, and I will provide the link to this website. Head back to your app. And in this instance, because I've already updated it, there's no quotes that I need to get rid of. Paste it in. All right. So far, so easy, right? This is where it gets a bit tricky. Now I am realized, but these values, and this took me a while to realize actually, these values are unique because they kind of look similar. I am realize they're unique to begin with, but they are unique. So these are base 64 encoded strings and it is a pain to do. Okay, there is a website and I'm gonna show you the website, but this website is down at the moment. I guess that's because it's really busy at the moment. So I had to figure out how to do this manually. Trust me, don't do this manually if this website is up. Okay, you don't need to do it. This website will give it, you just put the player name in, it'll generate the string for you, you can copy and paste the information that you need. But what happens if this website goes down like it has for me? Well, then you do need the Minecraft UUID. So here we go, add fielder. I'm just on this website now, there are a few of these. I need this value here, okay? And thankfully, here we go. I have already loaded this up, but I'm going to do it again. So it's this session server.mojang.com forward slash session forward slash Minecraft forward slash profile forward slash and then that GUI that I copied. Okay, and as you can see, that's loaded some data about me. So it's loaded this ID, which is my GUI, my name, our fielder, my texture, and then this 64 base encoded string. And now this is not the one that you need. This is why it's so annoying. Okay, so then we need to go to another website. Okay, so we're into this base64 encode.org. Now to begin with, we need to decode. We need to decode that string. So just to show you that again, I copied everything but the quotes, okay, even the equal sign. Okay, decode. Okay, and then this gives me my texture string, okay? Here, this. Okay, and I can see it's still add fielder, all right? So I need to copy this string, okay? And I'm gonna go back to this page here and I've created this file. And I'm gonna provide this, this will be in the, the description of the video as well. This is what you then need to encode back. So you would change this value here, leave everything else in place, okay? Copy it, head back to this site here. And this time we wanna encode, okay? We want that to be in the base 64, okay, format. And there we go, that is the value. We copy it like that. Oops, go to our page. And which one were we in? This is the one, okay. And then we would delete this value, including the equals. And we paste that in, and that is one line done. I have added an extra line into that. Now you can do that for each of your players. It does take a little bit of time and I can't do that bit for you. I will do these bits for you, okay? All right, so let's assume now you've added some people in or you have taken some out. You have altered these numbers here, okay? And 
this is where this bit gets important okay these numbers are used to generate the wandering traders trade so we are going to open up these two provide files okay we're going to edit them in notepad plus plus okay you can do it in uh, notepad if you want that's fine we're going to edit that one in notepad plus plus and we're going to do the hermit trades first okay and there's two values that you need to change and it's these two here, the Hermit Heads Index. So it's been nicely commented. Excellent, thank you, Exuma Void. These two values, if you have changed these values, so let's go back to our add trade function. So like they start at number two, so that's the lower value, okay? And in this instance, they may have changed. But anyway, they go up to 28, yeah. We go up to 28, awesome. So two to 28, that does match. I'm in the right file. Okay, get that right for your player heads. That is just the player heads. Okay, and then let's go back to this block function. If you have changed the values, you then need to change these two and put the lower and upper bounds in. So 29, which is where those blocks start. And then let's scroll down, 135. That is where they end. Okay, and then what you end up with is your files. So if I go into here, I've got all these files that I have edited and now all I need to do is add that as a data pack to my server. I'm not gonna explain that. The last thing that I am gonna explain is how you zip this thing up, because I have got that wrong a couple of times. Don't zip it up from this level, okay? Uh, just don't. Go into here, highlight both of these, send to, I've lost it. There we go, zip file, and then call it whatever you want, okay? I'm going to call them 1.0, Minicraft 1.0. That is a data pack that is ready to upload to your server and it will have your player's head in. So you can test it in a creative world, just load the data pack into your creative world, spawn in some wandering traders and check their trades. The one thing I have noticed in 1.16 that I didn't notice in 1.15 is when you spawn in a trader, it can take a second or two just to update their trades with the, the heads in and the blocks. But there you go, that's how you get it working in 1.16. I'll put all the links in the description. If you've got any questions, stick them in the comments. I'm happy to do another video just to clarify some points. I appreciate I've gone through quite a, a lot of information there to update that, but hopefully that helps you. Anyway, I'm Ab Fielder. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please check out the rest of my YouTube channel. I also stream on Twitch under the name Ab Fielder. Feel free to head on there and hit the follow button. Thanks guys, that's all I've got time for. Bye.